Hey, what's up? We are back here in Paldia and we are going to do everything, literally everything, everything that I have to do. We're going to do it, I think. But before we get into all that, I just want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN service that keeps your online data safe from big companies and cyber criminals alike. And they're offering an awesome discount for all my viewers today so you can cover your bases and browse the internet safely. I didn't quite realize how awesome having a VPN service was. I've always known in the back of my mind that I should have one, that I should get one, but there's so many different options and I just, I guess I was like paralyzed by choice because I never ended up looking into them and picking one, which is why I am so happy that Surfshark reached out. They really knew I needed them, honestly, because ever since I got them, I have been really blown away by how much I was missing out on. And also it's really occurred to me how much I've needed one, because as you can probably imagine, I don't know anything about cybersecurity or being like safe and smart on the internet, I probably do a lot of things that like unknowingly put my info at risk. So the peace of mind that I have now that Surfshark is working to keep me safe, uh, it's invaluable, honestly. And that's not all. This is the VPN option that works best for me because Surfshark is one of the few that doesn't limit the amount of devices you can use it on. And so that's huge. As a gamer and a content creator with ADHD, I'm all over the place. I'm always switching from my phone to the laptop to the iPad had everything. So this feature is seriously awesome and a must. But my favorite thing without a doubt about Surfshark is using it to unlock content that isn't normally available to me. I mean, I've heard about this feature before, but I was always like, oh, whatever, I'm not missing out on that much. And it's probably really hard to set up. I was wrong about all of those things. Not only is it not hard to set up, I mean, I did it by myself. That tells you a lot. If you know me, you know that means it's easy. <laughs> and I really was missing out on so much content, you guys. Like seriously, the UK. Netflix is literally tailored to my two-year-old like so much better than the USA one. It's insane. She's really into dinosaurs right now. So we use it to watch Dinosaur Train, which is a really cute show that is not available on the US one. And then this is what really blew my mind. My two-year-old recently discovered clips of the Sing movies and she loves them. And so I rented both Sing 1 and Sing 2 for her to watch. And I had to pay money to rent it because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And then I sign up for this and both of the things are on here. So I am so thankful because she wants to watch them all the time now. And I'm like, I can't keep renting them. <laughs> and then the best part about the UK Netflix that's so different from the USA one is that they have like all the Ghibli movies. They have Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Ponyo. Like I could keep going. I'm so excited to show these to my daughter. Honestly, this is my first time doing this and I'm kind of blown away by just how much is like locked by your location. So thank you, Surfshark. For real, you have saved me so much money on renting all these titles only for my two-year-old to beg me to watch it again and again and again every day. There's just so many other services that they offer too. Security alerts, antivirus protection, and search engines that won't limit what you can view or show you creepy tailored ads. So yeah, safe to say I recommend Surfshark. And if you want to grab it for yourself, you can go on down and click the link in the pinned comment and use the code AMANDAFILES for three free months so you can literally try it, enjoy it for three months. You're not going to want to live without all that Surfshark offers. Thank you again so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now, where were we? Okay, so I finally got the after game game thing done and whooped some ass in the tournament thing. I uh, made it a goal to use an all-electric team. I was able to do it and I gave myself the confidence to like do that going forward kind of a little bit. You know, I might end up trying to play through a game someday with an all electric team. I feel like I have been underestimating myself and as a result, I've also underestimated electric Pokemon, which a lot of people do. They are, in my opinion, like such an overlooked, powerful Pokemon type. They're super fast. They're super powerful attackers that have the capacity for great abilities and a huge range of moves available to so many of them. There's so many good like electric type Pokemon that have cool secondary types. There's just so much potential there that I haven't even scratched the surface of and I'm so excited to keep exploring all the possibilities of being just a, an electric type legend, honestly. Volkner hide because I'm coming for you, bitch. I'm coming for your title. You know, like I just think that it's electric Pokemon time. <laughs> 
this is my, what I've always been working towards. So that's the good news. Now for the bad news, <laughs> everything else. No, it's fine. I'm fine. All I had to do really was help my friends with their issues, shoulder their problems, which it's your job as a friend, you know, to, to help them through their shit. And I have my issues with Professor Sada because that was, um, I had to confront that while helping my best friend in the world, Arvin. I certainly have my issues with her. However, Arvin's issues with her are more important. So I had to put my absolute undying, unyielding, unconditional hatred for her aside to help Arvin navigate through his very confusing, very complex trauma regarding his mother, who again, I can't stand. <laughs> it was hard for me to watch Arvin go through this because I love him and his plight in particular makes me so sad, so desperately sad, so angry at my sworn enemy, Professor Sada. Can't stress this enough. I acknowledge that the difficulty lies with Arvin, who is the traumatized, abandoned child of my nemesis, who again, for those of you who don't know, is the late Professor Sada of the Paldia region, formerly esteemed, now disgraced quack scientist and deadbeat mother in contempt of court for abandonment and neglect charges. And if you are a little confused because didn't I forgive Sada for jumping in front of Karadon and for being dead and it was just her robot the whole time, um, you may have missed the stream where I went and talked to her at Kitakame Lake. Where, where was that? I forget what it's called. Like the lake in Kitakame, the pool, some kind of a pool. She was there. She showed her true colors. That's for sure. She was alive and well in a different timeline. And I just didn't like her answers to any of my questions. I didn't like them at all. It really was like a veil lifted moment for me. I stand here staggered still to this day by the audacity of that bitch at that pool. I mean, truly I do. I am so tempted to like exhume your body so that we can fight. I should have taken the chance to punch you square in the jaw when I had you right in front of me, but I was too stunned to so much as move a muscle at what was coming out of your mouth. Like, yeah, sure, her ghost came through and was like, Arvin, look how much you've grown. I'm sorry, you know, blah, 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 because death humbled her. And that's not a flex. Death humbles us all. If the only thing that can humble you is to die grievously in a hole alone, Alone, by your own hand, by your own mad, curious hand. Yeah, that's that says a lot about you. Truly, like you you didn't come to the conclusion that what you were doing was wrong or that like you should probably go back and be a mother to the child that you brought into this world before then, before you die grievously in a hole, alone, surrounded by your mistakes, Sada. But I just couldn't help but feel as though this journey for both of us was made harder even by the amount of unwarranted Sada love. There was just not enough Sada accountability. I don't care what she accomplished. And it's compounded for me because in my brain, it, it, from where I stand, I don't see any accomplishments. Like, yeah, she made a time machine, but it almost destroyed the world. That's not an accomplishment, fucking Oppenheimer. You're like, your, your brilliance kind of gets erased when you do something like terrible. <laughs> and then she wanted to do the Pokemon Jurassic Park. But like, what else did she even do? Everybody's like, she is such a brilliant mind of our time. What would we have done without all of her achievements and, and discoveries and accomplishments? Where? Where? Because all I saw, I met the bitch, by the way. I saw her work and all I saw was just wreckage and ruin wherever she went in her pursuit, in her mad pursuit of some kind of godlike control in this world. I didn't see like scientific integrity anywhere. I didn't see it anywhere. I didn't see like the the like spirit of discovery or anything like that. I saw a mad woman striving to become God at all costs. She was a sick woman obsessed with control. And due to her brilliance, she felt entitled to that on a whole nother level. I just don't like her. I feel like her character was written specifically to tick me off. But anyway, yeah. Our Arvin wanted to know more about his mom and thank God I didn't tell him. I, I kind of stood by his side and let him take the journey that he needed to take, I guess. And I think honestly, like Sada's bullshit, it'll, it'll come out. He'll figure it out eventually. He'll figure her out. We all will. The whole world will. You know, the truth always comes to light. So I don't have to stand here and say that she was these things, these horrible things, because I think that they'll start to become clear to people as they start to view her work through a more critical lens 
friends. She was hot as hell. She was a fashion icon and she was Paldia's sweetheart for a while. So I think people just kind of were blinded by that. You know, they were blinded by how hot she was. They were blinded by the caveman chic as I was for a moment in time myself. I am a human being. I saw it too. I also saw the other side of Sada, the side that she didn't want you to see. And eventually the world will too. And I just kind of have to stand back and watch and wait, I guess. And also be there for Arvin to hold him the fuck down because he's always there for me. And I just, I hope he knows that he's already better than his mother could ever be. He has nothing to live up to because she's in the dirt, quite literally. <laughs> and so he, he started out above her and he will only continue to ascend while she only continues to rot in the ground. So, and, and he's going to be able to accomplish great things and be just as notable and contribute just as much, if not more to this world than his mother without hurting everyone else in his life in the pursuit of his own goals and dreams. I'm just so proud of him. But yeah, that was a harrowing journey. And then unfortunately, Penny had to follow that up, which doesn't put her in a good place because I'm already pissed about Sada. And to be fair, Penny isn't really my favorite person. Um, I, there's little cracks there that make me not completely hate her. The thing with Penny, that whole thing was that she was spying on the rest of Team Star. Actually, you know what? She's kind of an asshole for this. Like she was spying on them because she's like, oh my God. So Team Star, you know how they're all freaks? They're all like loser freaks, um, outcasts, if you will, who just have not a prayer or a chance in this environment. And this school is going to chew them up and spit them out. Like, you know how that's a fact. Well, um, I just hate to see it. <laughs> you know, she's like, I hate to see it, but here I am watching anyway. And to no one's surprise except for Penny's, that couldn't be further from the truth. And I understand that the members of Team Star had their issues with the school and with fitting in. However, they all did fine. You know, they found their place, they found their groove, and all of them acclimated so well. And Penny didn't have any faith in any of them, not a one. Again, I understand that when they did the Team Star thing, it was because they were all outcasts, because society made them that way and they had no friends, but they all had something to offer and I think they learned a lot from the whole Operation Starfall thing. The only one who didn't really learn anything was Penny. So they put everything that they learn into practice and they are doing great. All of them instantly. They were doing so good. They all found their place and Penny was just kind of in a corner waiting to watch them fall. Being like, oh my god, I don't know how to help them since you know, they're just like such a loser. I just really don't think that they're gonna fit in, you know? And like how wrong she was, honestly. But I do love her room. I love an EV bitch. I'm an EV bitch. She does have a jolty on. So that is something we can connect over. Her room is such a harrowing place, honestly. But I love the jolty on on the bed. I love that he's sleeping like a king on a, on a bed. That's exactly where he belongs. I just thought that was cute and a little bit redemptive for Penny. I don't completely hate you, but I just give me something, Penny. Something a little bit more to, to hang on to because I hate every second I spend with you. I won't lie. <laughs> I want to like you. I have to like you actually but it's hard it is hard so pray for me and um oh yeah i caught all the legendaries finally did all the stakes that was really hard actually finding all the stakes and shit wow that was like crazy so i did that i caught a few legendaries with the like candy things i've been working on the pokedex all that so yeah in the meantime i've been kind of just trying to finish the, the game and trying to get over drayton using me yeah back here in masuai i'm probably saying that wrong my voice again Remember I had a cold last time? It's a different cold. Yeah, I've had like 14 colds in the last month, I think, like 14 different colds. I don't know, my voice is all messed up. So just excuse that. It's even more annoying than usual, but we're back here, baby, back in the, in the place where dreams come true. Here's my girlfriend. What was your name again? Never mind. she hates me. She still hates me. Wow, give me some room to breathe here, would ya? Okay, sorry, jeez. I are you doing anything later? I'm free on Thursday. This Thursday, I'm free if you just like let me know. PG, um, notice me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. There's a dusty old decoration of some sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things. And it smells incredibly sweet. Me? I'm like, hell yeah, that smells good. The decoration appeared to move a little bit. 
Rota, everybody's always calling me. I'm like under constant surveillance, aren't I? Oh my God, Arvin. Hey, Amanda, yo, Arvin here. I heard the news. What news? You've been having all kinds of big adventures, huh, little buddy? Oh shit, that news. Yeah, about that. So did I tell you about Drayton? Yeah, there's this guy over here. Are you coming? Are you coming over here? Did you get a plane ticket? You should probably come here. Well, not here, actually. We should go to Unova. There's this guy. He used me, Arvin. He used me. It hurts. It hurts, Arvin. So you should come to the school with me and like we can pretend to be together and make him jealous. We can like hold hands. Would you hold my hand? Would that be weird? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend and make him jealous. Let's do that. School trips, studying abroad, what luck. Yeah, it's been awesome, she says through tears. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm jealous to hear that. I wish I could have gone along too. Well, hopefully you'll come here. That way we can do my elaborate ruse that I just explained to you. Now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. Yeah, I tend to do that. I really am a mover and a shaker, aren't I? I guess you've still been real busy lately, but are things starting to settle down? I was thinking that, oh my God. Uh, Arvin, here it comes. I was thinking that if you have time, and only if you want, of course, maybe, I could come visit you at your house. Oh, Arvin. He really is like a lazy Animal Crossing villager inviting himself over to my house. And I love that. Oh my God, he's gonna come meet my mom. Oh my God, this is so sweet. He's so sweet. Yeah, of course. Is something wrong? Uh, eh. the thing is, I'm like not at my house. <laughs> at all um of course come on over you're an idiot amanda you're not at your house you dumb dumb bitch i mean it's on brand it's certainly in character here seriously it's such a relief to hear you say that and without even the tiniest hesitation so i guess i'll come over your house is in cabo poco right i'll meet out front see you there girl you're not f***ing in the state you dumb bitch yeah how far away is kitakame Mochi Mayhem. Oh boy, this is crazy. This is like a funny, silly movie. <laughs> Meet up with Arvin. Go on, girl. Get. Get the hell out of there. It's so funny because he lives like right across the street. He lives at the lighthouse, doesn't he? I guess he's probably at school, actually. So that gives me about 20 minutes to get on a plane and get back to my home. Oh my God, he's going to come meet my mom. My mom will really take you in. She'll make you a sandwich. She will love you. She'll take you in under her wing. Here I am flying back home. I'm on the Dragonite, by the way. I'm on the Dragonite, not the plane. I'm so glad that they show me flying home on the Dragonite with my boyfriend, Lance. Oh, hey, so we're having a party. Cool. I guess it's just invite yourself over to my house day, huh? Cool. That's fine. You guys are always welcome. Well, I don't know about Penny, but I really have to be in the mood for Penny, but Nimona is always welcome. Arvin's always welcome. Fine. Penny, you can come too. He <laughs> figured I'd tag along. Hey there. You're all here? Is this a surprise party for me? Wow. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I hate surprise parties. Normally, don't ever do a surprise party for me. <sighs> I would die. Like, I, I can't even imagine the horror of walking in a room and everybody's there and they go, surprise! In that moment, like, would I run? <laughs> would I hide? Would I collapse? Would I cry? No, you know what I would do? I'd probably fake it. I'd be like, oh my God, I love this. Thank you. But inside I would be dying. I don't really know how to deal with surprises very well. I just can't do it, honestly. Amanda, I, this is all my fault. Sorry. You know, when I called you and said I wanted to come hang, well, these two overheard and, well, we weren't just going to let you hog the chance to visit Amanda. It's way more fun to roll together. That's the thing. Yeah, like, we really are a friend group like a really tight friend group that like rolls together like we really do everything together i can't believe i have a friend group so amazing arvin when are you gonna let that backpack go buddy your back has got to be hurting so bad i don't know as somebody with like severe back issues every time i see him with that backpack it hurts so bad why like what are you carrying your whole damn life with you because you were abandoned by your mother and you have nothing Except for that backpack. I'm so sorry, Arvin. I really am. You say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. Eh, yeah, well, whatever. You guys are my friends. Who cares? It wasn't like I was doing anything. It wasn't like I was in a whole nother, like, area, region, if you will. I guess if you're fine with it, Amanda, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. We're not allowed to cause any trouble for Amanda and her mom, got it? We're gonna be the perfect guests today. My mom is gonna be blown away by how popular I am. Can't wait. Look at all those peppers hanging outside my door. Why would my mother do that? She doesn't want me there. She really is trying to ward me off like a fucking vampire. I know that's a thing, but for me personally, as someone who hates peppers, you know how you put like garlic in your windows and your fucking door and shit to ward off vampires? My mom's really trying to ward me off. <laughs> 
She really said, now that Amanda's gone, I can hang up my peppers like I always wanted. I don't know who you think you're educating here, but sure, whatever. Penny, you are the one that I'm most worried about, bitch. You have zero manners. Okay, that was such a great meal. I can't believe we got all that after we barged in out of nowhere. That's my mom, she's an amazing woman. Your mom's cooking is so good, Amanda. I know. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> okay, Penny, all right, yeah, you knew that you really needed to fight your way up from the catacombs to get me to like you again. And you did, right? And she's so pretty. My brain literally glitched when I saw her. I know, right? How will I ever measure up? You know, I just, she's like the blueprint, honestly. I'm so glad she remembered me. Of course she would. You're my best friend. Uh, oh, it's a Nintendo Switch. You have to tell me what games you got on this thing. Nice marketing. <laughs> We already have a Switch, Nintendo. You don't have to convince us to buy one. <laughs> what do you think we're playing this on? And it's a Nintendo brand Nintendo Switch. <laughs> what titles do you have? Stupid. I love the Squovit plush. The fluff's to die for. I know, right? Oh my god, there she is, show-stopping. Did you get a haircut? Wasn't your hair different? Did you- Mom, you got a fucking bob? Hell yeah. Slay queen. Isn't her hair different? She just did that. She's like, I did a thing. <laughs> Mom, did you do a thing? <laughs> so major of you, Mom, to have a bob. You're everything. How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some sweets. Sweets? Yes. Penny, say yes, please. Does anybody say please or thank you around here? Yes, please, Mom. Thank you. Nobody says please or thank you. N no way. We couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't mean to be a hustle. Hassle, I mean. Nobody taught him how to talk. <laughs> We don't want to be a hassle. Oh, sweetheart. He just thinks he's always a hassle because his mom sucks. He, he, oh, sweetie, no need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. Oh my God, that's like the first time Arvin's ever been called sweetie. It, yes, ma'am. Oh, your, your manners. See, Penny, this guy behind me here grew up with no parents, no one to teach him manners, and yet he has better manners than you. Just find that crazy. Oh, and Amanda, a letter came for you. Wait, do you have a ponytail or a bob? Well, which is it? Why does she have a ponytail now? You got a ponytail. I liked the bob. It's from Kieran. Do you know what Kieran? Do not open that. Do not open that. Put that down right now. Get just get, throw it out the window. Throw it out the window, mom. Oh my God, did you open it? Did it get anywhere near your face? Throw it out the window. I don't think we should open it in here. I think we should open it outside with like a gas mask on. I just feel like this could be an attack. Yeah, I know a Kieran. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes. It's probably like newspaper clippings or some, something scary. Probably just an article about so someone found a dismembered body or something. Or like, it just, I don't know. It's like a, a threat. I'm sure it's a threat of some sort. My word, you've been making plenty of friends. Yeah, I'm super popular, mom. I have so much to tell you later. Uh, okay, so my mom's hair is a pretty confusing situation, actually. What the fuck? I don't know, it looks like a ponytail at certain angles. It's strange. It's very strange. I've never, never seen that before. She's so innovative. You know, everybody's hair will be like this tomorrow, I assure you. I'll bring those sweets up in just a few. I hope you all enjoy them. Thanks, Mom. I just can't figure her hair out for the life of me, but you are so beautiful. That's the thing. She could have, like, such a strange hair style, and she's still the hottest bitch in the world, and I love that for her. I'll come help. Aw, Nimona, that's so sweet of you. That is so sweet of you. She's She really is, like, that friend. That friend that just weasels her way into your family. God, I want to check out the sweets, too. Make sure to lend a hand, Penny, please. Oh my God, wait, they like, oh, they did that on purpose, uh, I think. Wow, that was really nice of them, actually. They really are Arvin's wing ladies, aren't they? My gosh. Your mom sure is nice, Amanda. You're real lucky. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I know. Yeah, it's okay, Arvin. I mean, anytime you need anything, you can always come here. She'll feed you even if I'm not here. You can sleep in my bed, you know? You have a home here. You have people who love you so much. Just want to let you know that. Oh, but what about that letter? Aren't you going to at least open it up? I shouldn't. <laughs> we shouldn't. Dear Amanda, how are you doing lately? <laughs> I took a leave from school. What do you mean you took a leave from school? Is everything okay? Jeez. That bad, huh? So I'm back in Masawai town for a while. My sis came back with me too. I know we didn't get much chance to talk after everything that happened in the under depths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing a visit to Kitakame? Carmine would love to see you, I'm sure. Maybe you could bring your friends from Paldia too. I included plenty of tickets. Wow, how rich are you guys? You guys, you, you sent like just a bunch of plane tickets in case I have like a bunch of friends to bring with me? Jeez, okay. Fucking Jeff Bezos. Who's this Kieran guy? <laughs> 
And jealousy. <laughs> Who's this Karen guy? Some new friend or something? Yeah, just a friend. Oh yeah. I should have said he's a dot 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 friend. <gasps> oh my god. He's jealous. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so hold on. Sorry. Um, Arvin's jealous. I guess that's good for you and all. Amanda, Arvin, you're not gonna believe how good this stuff looks. There's too much to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat. Oh my god. They even let us sit together. It's crazy. This really isn't a calculated effort. Ooh, I hope we see Drayton. I really do. He deserves this. He deserves to see me and Arvin happy together. Oh my poor guy. I feel like I'm about to burst if I eat another bite. Oh my god, I love Arvin. He's perfect. Yeah, Arvin, I needed to spend a little more time with you to rem to remind myself how much I fucking love you. I love him so much. I think what you're trying to say is thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious. Yeah, Penny, right? I love you, Arvin. I love you so much. I'll help with the dishes and stuff. Nimona, you're such a little goody two-shoes, but, but like, I love that about you. That's so sweet. I'm that friend too. I'm always that friend. I'm always like, is there anything I can do to help? Like at every one of my friend's houses, the parents are like, no, but I could feel bad not helping and stuff, you know? Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? But no need to lift a finger. You kids just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. She really is the best. At least Nimona's got manners. I'll give her that. She sure does. Unlike this one. Wasn't I just saying that? Huh? Why are you looking at me? Because your manners are atrocious, Penny. Say, Amanda, about that letter. What was that place your new pal mentioned? Kitakame or something? You really gonna go there and meet this Karen guy again? Oh my god. Uh, he is so... Like, he was trying to come here to shoot his shot. Like, this really is a wrench being thrown into his plans. Oh my gosh. You really gonna go there and meet this Karen guy again? You can come with me, just so that you know that it's like not like that let's all go together let's go he's rich apparently so he gave me a bunch of plane tickets i guess if you guys aren't doing anything right fucking now and want to jet set across the the region i guess i don't know where the hell kitakame is but it's not I, you got to take a plane to get there you guys so yeah if you're available now you could don't have any bags packed or anything but you know we're going on a trip yeah wait what you going somewhere oh uh Oh my god, Arvin just wants it to be me and him. Do we miss something? Something good? Spill it. They're tacking themselves on again, but it's fine. <laughs> Look at Nimona. Are you serious? We're definitely going with you. This Kieran kid was champion of a super elite battle academy, right? I've got to meet him. Yeah, he was champion, but I took his title, so just letting you know. More like I've got to battle him. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I can't believe the worlds are colliding. Yay! Was it that obvious? I feel kind of bad, though. Like we just invited ourselves along on your trip without asking. No no, 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 I like literally have like, I think he gave me seven plane tickets. He really overestimated my popularity. The guy said to bring friends and we're those friends. He even sent tickets for us. Yep, friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. Penny, you bet we do. This will be my first time going on a trip with friends. It's kind of scary and exciting at, at the same time. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever taken a trip with a friend either. You're kidding. Well, this is gonna be amazing, so get excited. I guess I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Why don't we bring Break for now, do whatever prep we gotta do, and meet up again later. Sounds good. Let's say we meet up again in front of Mesa Goza's southern gate. Roger, see you all later then. Yep, let's all pack for our trip. I can't believe we're going on a friend's trip to show Arvin that Kieran is not a threat. Thanks for having us over. Aw, was sweet. Mom, what's your hairstyle? What's it called? <laughs> oh, did Nimona and the others leave already? She loves Nimona. Your friends are all such nice kids. I was really glad to meet them all. And now it sounds like you're all about to go have a little adventure together. Hmm. Well, have fun if you do. No fighting and be sure to look after one another. I can't imagine just like letting my child like just oh, I overheard that you guys are going on a plane somewhere. My child. Cool. I will have fun. No fighting. <laughs> no fighting. That's so funny. I love how this is like her, her little pet. Like we have a pet squirrel. I grew up with a pet squirrel. Oh, she really hung up all her peppers now that I'm not here anymore. Go crazy, mom. It's your house now. You're an empty nester. I love you. I love you so much, mommy. See you later. We're going on a plane. All right, just figured that I'd throw this on to assert my dominance over Kieran. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, all right. I'm ready, guys. Look at my cute little outfit. I see you, Arvin. I see you, big boy. <laughs> He's such a fucking himbo. Oh my gosh, dad, would you just drop it? I told you friends, I'm going with friends. She's so, oh, I hate these types of kids. Don't like do that. <laughs> 
I don't know, I just hate the kids that are so like shitty to your parents. Like I get, you know, some parents are shitty too, but you don't have to be like, oh my God, dad, shut up. When they're just like worried about where you're going. Oh, I hate that. Like it's, again, I'm not saying don't talk back to your parents, but like when your parents are, I'm, I'm literally, it's always, I love how I'm always scared that there's gonna be like the Twitter thing of like, you only like pancakes, what about waffles type shit. Obviously I'm talking about when your parents are just like, hey, who are you going with, sweetie? I love you. And you're like, oh my God, mom, shut up. I told you, would you just drop it? Like that's just, I don't know. That just is like so fucked up to me. When your parents are literally just being your parents or just being nice, I hate that shit. Like it's not cool. It's such a shitty look, honestly. Again, when your parents are genuinely just nice people who mean well, that's what I mean. Your parents are just being regular parents. They love you. They just have like boundaries and shit, regular boundaries. I love how I have to do this disclaimer because there's always, you know, there's going to be somebody like, well, my parents are like terrible people and blah, blah, blah. You're saying I need to respect them. That is not what I'm talking about. Penny's dad is worried about her and she's told us about how he's so sweet and loves her so much, so many times and how mean she is to him. And it's just like, this is what I'm talking about. I hate it. No, you don't need to be worried about it. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. He's literally just making sure that you you have everything you need and if there's any way he can support you and also letting you know like you're going on a plane with your friends to where I'm scared I'm worried about you I love you I'm I thought you were in school I thought I sent you to school that's reasonable Penny it's like amazing like oh poor Penny her parents love her her parents care about where she is and where she's going oh no it's not gonna be an adventure no one says that honestly I'm hanging up now oh my god her dad just made like a little dad joke and she's like ugh. God, I hate it. I hate it. Penny, it's not cool. And like the worst part about people like this is that they think it makes them look so cool. They get off the phone, they're like, oh my God, my parents are so annoying. And it's like, no, I think you're so annoying. Did you get your old man's okay to go? Yeah, in the end, but I had to put up with his ultra mega annoying dad talk to do it. Arvin doesn't even have a dad and he had a mom who abandoned him and then died in a hole. <laughs> What was that, Penny? What were you saying about your father caring about you and how that's somehow a problem? God, he just ultra mega cares, little bud. Arvin's just trying to keep a brave face. <sighs> yeah, Penny, fucking wake up. Oh, oh yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, we've all got permission and here we all are. No one forgot anything, right? Then vamos, let's go. Let's go, wee wah woo. All right, goodbye, Paldia. Hello, Kitakami, where I just was. Wow, I really am Taylor Swifting around the world, aren't I? Let's just pretend I caught them all up with everything that happened, with the whole like town treating Ashley like shit. I should probably, oh God, I gotta get Ashley in my in my party. I still have to catch the three bitches. Still have to catch them. But yeah, I told them all about Ashley and all about how everybody in this town is fake as fuck. Don't trust anyone in this town. And I mean anyone. What else did I tell them? Yeah, that Drayton used me, that whole thing. Oh my God, I told them all about Lacey, don't worry. And I don't think we're going over there, but I just needed them to know that Lacey is a little bitch, you know, and that she's just not to be trusted at any point. Like if you see her online, do not interact, that kind of thing. Yeah, so here we are. Oh, here's this guy, you fed them. The guy who feeds just anyone. Anyone can roll up, no matter how treacherous, if you will. Uh, three bitches, for example, who destroyed my little Ashley Francis's entire reputation for years and killed a guy, I think. Killed a hot man with a ponytail, by the way, in a cave. He fed them right away, without hesitation. No questions asked, he fed them. I did bring the ogre car, caretaker. We will get in it and we will do what we must if we have to. Just letting you know. Hiya, hiya indeed, I'm the caretaker here. It's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Do you guys need anything to eat? You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been freshened up for you. That is some thoughtful service. Haha, <laughs> it was no trouble. Now please relax and enjoy yourselves, but most of all, enjoy Kitakame. Yeah, this guy owes me big time. He doesn't want me to, to leak the story of what they did to the yogurt, so he owes me big time. He, I got this guy in my fucking back pocket. I got him wrapped around my finger, so anything you guys need, you ask him. He'll feed ya. So what about that Kieran guy? Have you heard from him at all? <laughs> that Kieran guy. He's like so jealous. It's so funny. Wait till you see him, honestly. Excuse me? He doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive, Penny? She really is like an iPad kid to the max. That's the thing. It's always the iPad kids who are mean to their parents. It really is. He must not want any distractions from training. Think he's at his house? Should we go meet him? Yeah, we should. <laughs> guys, we'll see. You guys are in for it. Are you coming? Coming? Up, you coming with? Oh my god! Armin is here to fight Kieran for my heart. Buddy, it's not like that. I kind of love it though. He's like just jealous that he heard that I had another like guy friend. That's really toxic. 
<laughs> That's pretty toxic, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it clear once and for all who your real best friend is. Just you wait and see. Oh my God. Where do they live again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And here's the grandma and grandpa who kept the dirty, dirty secret all those long years. All those long years. You still got your pocket money, huh? After all this time. Kieran, you didn't let your hair down? Really? He's still rocking the onion head. This is a huge red flag, guys. Just be on alert. Okay. Amanda, oh man, it's been a long time. Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't come meet you at the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. Yeah, what's going on? Everybody okay in there, Kieran? Where's the ax? Is it still okay? Just making sure. <laughs> Um, it's great to see you, Kieran. You like my outfit? <laughs> Thanks. But wait, did you come here all by yourself? No, 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 don't worry. Still rocking the fanny pack backwards, I see, okay. Yo, we're here too. Oh my God, Arvin. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Nimona. You're Kieran, right? Amanda told us all about you. Like how you're great at Pokemon battles, right? Well, I don't know about that, but dial it back a notch or nine, you're scaring him. I'm Penny, and like a certain someone, I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Arvin, Amanda's absolute best friend. <laughs> Yeah, that's Arvin. <laughs> Staking your claim right from the get-go, huh? <laughs> you know I just love when people fight over me. Fight, 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 fight. Oh my god, Arvin, did you hear Kieran? He just, Kieran, did you just say that? He's like, what? Say what? I'm like, I heard that. <laughs> that was not nice, Arvin. You didn't hear that, right? And Arvin's like, what? What did he say? And I'm like, nothing. Kieran, please be nice. I'm so sorry, Arvin. And he's like, what did he say? <laughs> Well, I'm Kieran. I met Amanda when she came here for that school trip. That's when we became friends. Uh, what else? <laughs> yeah, what else? You're leaving out a lot. Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. Er, I mean, I was a student there. I'm on break right now. What happened? Whoa, really? I know how that goes. Same thing happened to me. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh. Penny, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. <laughs> oh my God, Arvin, he's not a threat. You see the onion hair? God, I thought I could count on you to at least keep this interloper at arm's length. Eh, I just get the feeling we're pretty alike. Oh yeah, Penny had like a whole villain arc too. Penny was like the secret villain mastermind of our school. I forgot about that. Wow, your friends seem like a quirky group. Kind of like you, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Anyway, a friend of Amanda's is a friend of mine. I hope you all have a good time staying in Kitakame. Thanks, now let's battle. Uh, I, uh, what? That space in front of the community center looks like a good battle spot. Vamos, come on. Well, Kieran, you heard her. Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to go battle her? Yep, go have fun. You got this. Oh man, she's just as pushy as sis is, but like different. That is true. They're like two sides of the same coin. It's weird. Hmm. Oh no, I think I might have made a terrible mistake. This Kieran kid might actually be a good guy. I... Uh, it's complicated. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess. Wow, the drama. Shoot, I must have come across like a real jerk. Maybe I should have toned it down a bit, huh? Arvin, even when you're at your worst, like that was that was you being a jerk. I, I thought it was fine. I think you can keep that energy up. You know, you might have to fight him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We introverts know how to recognize one another, I guess. Yeah. How are the grandparents? How's Carmine? You guys are gonna love Carmine. <laughs> just wait. Yeah, yeah, just wait. Oh boy. Has to you wait. Okay, Axe is still there. Good, good. Just making sure. <laughs> um, where is Carmine? That's what I'm also worried about. I got some pocket money. Oh my god, is that couple still together? Remember that couple? You guys are still together. No way. Girl, really? God. I just hope she wakes up soon. What did you hear? What? Yeah, no, it wasn't. No, 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 no. I heard some kid became friends with Ogre Pond. I bet it was Kieran. It was not Kieran for your information. Why don't you get your fucking facts straight? It's me, bitch, and I'll prove it to you now. Thank you for reminding me. Because, yeah, I have my whole electric team here that I really want to keep for the most part. But when I'm in, when in Kitakame, you know, I need to bring Ashley home. See, I like, I'm so attached to my, this is like the, the, my electric team of my dreams. The only one missing is my Manetric Magnolia. And I think that's it, honestly. But this is, yeah, this is like my head. Cannon team right here. Sparky, Honey, Ra. This is Ellie, Rosie. Anyway, who am I replacing? Oh my god, who is gonna be replaced? Uh, I hate it. I guess I'll do mm, mm, Honey for now. Just for now. I'm sorry, honey. Oh my god, you guys are gonna battle. I forgot. I forgot all about it. You weren't kidding. Kieran's great. Let me see which Pokemon I should use for our next battle. Who won? Who lost? Hello? Who who won? What's up, Kieran? Oh my god, he really needed that confidence boost, shit. Oh god, we are pushing him. 
down, back down the dark path. I got completely destroyed. Who the heck is Nimona anyway? She's a champion, just like us. I mean, you're a champion too. Wait, she's a champion in the Paldia region? Okay, yeah, it makes sense that she's so good then. We're all champions, all three of us. Kieran, you're so good. That was awesome. No wonder you were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours. But, but I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter? Whether you win or lose, Pokemon battles are a blast. Yeah, I beat Nimona all the time. She's never beat me, literally. So don't feel too bad, Kieran. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Nimona for you. Get used to it. You okay? Feel like running for the hills yet? Hey now. N not at all. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. Aw, Kieran. See, this is what I want to see. Good. Kieran's like with my friends and stuff. This is what he needs. He needs a strong friend group. Good. Good, good, good. Oh boy. Here we go. Whoa, who the heck are you? M mo, mo. Wait, yeah, her eyes. Are they always like that? Why do that? The fuck are you doing, girl? Carmine. <laughs> mochi, mochi, mochi. What? Girl, what the fuck are you doing? This is a terrible first impression. Oh my god. Carmine. Wake the fuck up, girl. Get a grip. What are you doing? Oh my god. Is this your big sister, Kieran? Do you think she wants in on the battle fund too? No, I think she's on drugs or something. Uh, sorry, everyone. Could, could you just help me carry my sis somewhere safe? Yeah, we need to get her to the hospital, I think, or something. This is really scary. Girl, your eyes. What the fuck? I'm terrified right now. So don't eat the mochi. <laughs> is the doctor in there? You sure you don't want us to stay with your sister? What the hell is going on? She should be okay. Gramps and grandma look after her during the day, but they must have taken their eyes off her for just a sec earlier. Sorry for making you all help out with that. Wait, what's going on? Has this been a problem? Oh, I mean, it was no big deal at all. Happy to help. Yeah, I gotta ask, is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty, uh, riled up. No, yeah, that's to say the least. She's not usually like that. No, no, she's not at all. Have you guys contacted a doctor at all? I think she was just really excited to get to meet you all. That's not it. No, that's really not it. That's so far from her baseline that I am so fucking concerned. And if you guys haven't called a doctor, I will. You really think that's what it was? No. Yeah, that's gotta be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. Are you sure nothing's happened? Kieran, what did you do? <laughs> I mean, she's been like that since I sent you that letter, Amanda. She was already dancing and all by the time I woke up the next day. No explanation. I guess that really isn't normal, is it? No, you guys haven't fucking called a doctor? Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe it really is a curse. What? Wait, it could be a curse? Wow, this trip just took a real sudden dive into horror movie territory. Usually does that. When I'm around, I guess I'm the cursed one. I know sell chip out curses, but could something like this have happened before? You ever heard any old stories or legends about it? Why don't we ask Grandpa? He loves to keep legends that are really important to people and could really help to himself. So yeah, I don't know. Amanda already took care of the whole thing with the Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Why are you still calling them that? The three bitches, lousy three if you must. Sheesh, Amanda, you really rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? <laughs> yeah. My sis may have no filter and be inconsiderate and push people's buttons, but I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. No, yeah, this is like so fucking concerning. Yeah, for sure. She's like under some kind of a spell of some sort. If there's anything you think we could do to help, just say the word. Y you guys sure? You don't mind? We don't mind at all, and I'm sure a doctor wouldn't mind either. I'm sure a doctor would be happy to help too. You can count on us, Amanda. No, all of you. Thank you. It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you could all help me out tomorrow. Doctors are on call all night long, Kieran. First, we're gonna have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Cool, let's go have a party instead of helping Carmine who is in some kind of a severe crisis of some sort of the mind. S seriously, I'm so scared for her. Aye, aye, let's do it, come in. Woo, yeah, fuck Carmine. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. She can wait. We're gonna go party it up. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, I'm so scared for Carmine. All your friends are really good people. I'm jealous. Well, they're your friends now too, Kieran. All right, this is all fucked up. I didn't, this took a turn right away. Good, cool, awesome, fun. Cool party, guys. Yeah, this party's awesome. Fucking rager. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at us partying. I got some soda. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, baby. There's a loyal three still being showcased, by the way, behind us. Y'all suck. Did we forget? I mean, they fed them, so I guess that's to be expected. You find peaches all right? Yep, no problem. It's so close by. Nobody was there, so I just left the money on on the counter. Do you think that was okay? Oh yeah, the old lady who runs steps away sometimes. So everyone does that. No worries. Oh, okay. Man, I can't imagine anyone getting away with that bag in Paldia. 
Wait, Nimona, what's all over your mouth? Were you eating snacks without us? When I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left though. See, it really is like the mochi that's poisoning the town, so Nimona's probably about to start losing her mind soon, too. Love that. Yup, we're gonna start seeing some really concerning behavior from Nimona, and now we know that it's like from a food, so where's the doctor? Hey, Karen, do you have any idea how to change the channel on the TV? Yeah, it just keeps playing this propaganda. Yeah, and it's full of lies. Oh, now I have to watch it. Oh, the caretaker hid the remote somewhere, so that video is all we can get on the TV. Right, just like he fed them. Let's find that clicker. We're gonna watch a movie. This party is about to get started. Time to search this place top to bottom. Then I vote we play games on that big screen. Oh my God, yeah, let's play Jackbox. That'd be so funny. <laughs> it's like our own little treasure hunt. Everyone grab a corner and start searching. How you feeling, Nimona? You feeling okay? How, how about this then? Aw, Kieran, he's like happy. Let's say that whoever finds a remote gets to decide what we do. Hey, Kieran, no fair, I'm getting a head start. This is fun. Fun with my friends. Nimona, how you feeling? How you feeling? Should start taking effect soon. Oh my God, where's the fucking remote? Arvin, where's the remote? Oh my God, Nimona. How you feeling, Nimona? You good? Oh no, Nimona's not good. Dude, what? This is like fucking wreck, dude. Like that, or like quarantine or whatever. This sucks, dude, this sucks. Oh my God, everybody's getting infected. They're getting infected? This is an infection game now? Fuck, all my friends are getting infected. I found it, found it. Wow, he put it in the planter, huh? Found the remote, <laughs> Nimona. How you feeling? <laughs> Damn it. My friends are getting infected one by one. Stop eating the mochi. Didn't you hear Carmine? That means I get to choose what we do. What I think we should do is call a fucking doctor for my friends who are infected with something that they got from the mochi at Peachy's. Yeah, Penny, I wanted to play Jackbox with everybody, but I think Nabona is probably infected now. Oh my God. She didn't head into the rooms in the back either. We're, now she's lost. I think I know what's going on. She must be waiting to jump out and scare us. Yeah, because she's like been infected with something. You tried calling her? I didn't hear her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. She's fucking infected, you guys. So does that help us figure out where she is? She's not here at least. No, yeah, she's probably outside. I should have said that. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you guys, using our brains for real. She wandered into town because she's infected, you guys. Wait, what? Kitakami's dangerous at night if you don't know your way around? I thought you guys were just saying how you leave money everywhere because it's so safe. Now it's dangerous at night? Really? What are the dangers? Oh my God, Kieran is splitting. <laughs> Sorry. Kieran just said me and Amanda and Arvin and Penny. Arvin is not gonna like that. What? But what if she comes back while we're all out? We have a better chance of finding her if you stay here and you can call us if she does. That's true. Okay, be careful out there. Oh my God. Uh, this is like kind of scandalous. <laughs> Nimona who? <laughs> We'll hold down the fort so you get back. Let's go, Amanda. Uh-oh, Arvin. Be careful, it's already pretty dark outside. Yeah, apparently it's like crawling with crime, even though they were just talking. It's so safe, we just leave our money everywhere. You know, you can never get away with that in Paldia. Well, apparently it's not. There's like a crime nightlife out here. Huh, there's still some people out? They're infected. It's hard to tell with the sundown, but I think those are two workers from the orchard. They're the, they're infected. They're fucking walkers, dude. Oh my God, dude. Yep, they're fucking infected. Oh my God. I can't believe that everybody's getting infected. Good evening. Ah, uh, where's the doctor? They're fucking infected. I can't believe that this has become an infection arc. <laughs> Something's off about them. Yeah, Kieran, you think? They've got pink eyes, just like your sister. I don't know why nobody seems to notice the fucking ragingly pink eyes. Yeah, what, mochi, is that it? Yeah, mochi, mochi. They're infected, dude. They're gonna start biting. This is what they call the dumb stage. It's already far too late by this point, far too late. They are doomed. There's no cure. Um, they're gonna start exhibiting hydrophobia. And then we're gonna get the furious phase. And nobody wants that. Okay, that's when they start biting. And I, I would say once they start exhibiting an extreme fear of water, that's when we need to really hit the hills. But I think we need to get the fuck out of here right now just to be safe because everybody's infected. Okay? And these people are, are they're too far gone. I'm so sorry about your sister. So sorry to Nimona and her family. These people are doomed. We need to save ourselves. Okay, there is no saving them. It's very, very scary. Yeah, mochi, mochi. 
Yeah, whoa, what the heck's going on? They're infected. This is horrible. This is, is this really happening? Is this fucking really happening? Am I having like such a weird fucking dream right now? Oh my God, enough. No fucking way they're attacking. They're attacking, it's a zombie game. They're really attacking, oh my God. And they're poisonous Pokemon. No fucking way. They're attacking, dude. What the hell? They are literally attacking us, Kieran. Holy shit. I'm like so fucking scared. I'm so rattled by this. Yeah, this is an infection game now. Sparky, thank you so much for being on tonight, just like you always are, because we're in like a really critical situation right now. There's an infection ravaging this small town. It's only gonna get worse from here. We gotta get the fuck out of here. But we are being attacked. I can't believe they just decided to attack us. This really is like a zombie infection game. These people are not even in control of themselves. They're being controlled by the fungus that's eating away at their brain. It's just terrible, but thankfully they are only attacking with their Pokemon at this point. Um, when they start attacking though, like physically for real, well, I, you know, you just, I guess, just hope you don't get bit. I'm fucking out of here. As soon as this Pokemon battle is over, I am out of here. I'm not sticking around for this. No, 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 no. I did not sign up to play Pokemon Last of Us. Absolutely not. No, I was not expecting this. I will say I was just not expecting anything like this. I haven't seen anything about this. No spoilers, no nothing. It's crazy that nobody's talking about this. Mochi? No, no, not Mochi. I don't know what you're talking about. Get away from us. They're like glowing too. Yeah, good. Y'all are fucking infected. Now get away from us. Oh, rage, furious. Uh-oh, she looks like a biter. We gotta get out of here. Mochi, chi. Phew, that scared the snot out of me. Well, it's still scary. They're still infected. What's gotten into them? They were perfectly fine when I saw them yesterday. They got infected by the mochi. And guess what? Nimona's about to attack us any second now. Oh man, I can't believe, yep, there's Nimona. She's a zombie, you guys. She's got rabies. I can't believe Nimona vanished at a time like this. We could really use her help. There she is. She's also infected. She ate the mochi. Yeah, she's really, really, really lost. We've lost her. You know, we just better start mourning her now. She ran off towards Kitakame Hall. Why? Come on, we gotta go after her. Yeah, get in the ogre car. The whole town's got it. This guy's over here fucking furious phase. No fucking way. The whole town has got it, lady. If, yep, oh, she's got it too, bad. Oh my God, everybody is fucking infected. Oh my God. Thank God they're doing the chicken dance. It would be like a little bit less scary, but yeah, every fucking buddy. And you know what's so scary? I should have pointed this out earlier, but there was a guy up there forcibly feeding his child mochi. Did you guys see that? He was like, I don't want to have the mochi, dad. And he was like, you got to eat it. Oh my God, that's so scary. The implications of that are wow, harrowing. Wow, this is absolutely terrifying. Oh my God, that couple. I wonder if that couple's infected. Oh my gosh, Romeo and Juliet. Wow, they really went down in the end together didn't they? I bet he like bought the mochi. I bet he brought it home. It was like, can you eat this, babe, 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 I got you some mochi. I just don't think he's right for her. I mean, where's Peachy? Peachy, you better fucking answer for this. Peachy, hey, get out here. Awful mochi, 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 what the fuck? How's everybody up here doing? You guys doing good? Hello there, Kieran, and you too, Amanda. Grandpa, grandma, what are you both doing here? Is Carmen okay? And did you see a girl come by here? Slow down, Kieran, one question at a time. Yeah, don't ask him too much. He doesn't like to tell people things that are important. Carmen is at home sleeping in her bed. She must have tuckered herself out with all that dancing. Phew, so she's safe. We thought we'd step out while she slept to get some of her favorite noodles from the stall here. A taste of her favorite food might help her snap out of whatever is going on with her. Or you could call a doctor. Oh yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, grandpa. Now, yeah, no, this people's are, there's an infection going on, you guys. Wake the fuck up. Oh right, everyone in town's acting weird. Yeah, as like an afterthought. Yeah, the whole town's infected. And one of the girls who came here from Paldia went missing. Well, now that you mention it, we did run into a girl wearing a uniform not too long ago. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Yeah, no, grandma's infected. Grandma's got the mooch. Have some mochi. No, slap it out of her hands. Get away from her. Hmm? I, I don't need any mochi at the moment. D dear, have some mochi. Eat it. Eat the, the mochi. Oh my fucking God. This is awfully sudden, dear, but I suppose if you insist, didn't you notice your beloved deer's beautiful eyes and how they are quite different? Oh my God, these people are just, I guess it's the Darwin effect. I don't know. Yeah, wow. All right, I've had some mochi, dear. Now can we get back to the question? No, you can't. Yes, you're infected now, grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. 
Grandpa, you okay? No. Y'all, the mochi is the problem. Yeah. Infected. Another one bites the dust. Kieran, get in the ogre car. We gotta go get Penny and Arvin and get the fuck out of here. I think this entire place just needs to be condemned, honestly. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, this is horrible. They're attacking us with Pokemon. It's Pokemon zombies. This is so scary. Thank God they're doing the chicken dance. I'm sorry, Kieran. They're not there anymore. It's not them. I know it looks like them, but they're gone, okay? I'm so sorry. Oh man, no way. Gramps and Grandma too? Everyone's losing it. It's the mochi. No, why? You just saw it happen. You just saw what I saw, didn't you? God, it's just a matter of time until it gets me. I'm gonna end up like all the rest of them. Just don't eat the mochi. That's it, that's as easy as that. Sorry, I kind of panicked there. Thanks, Amanda. No, yeah, this is a panicable situation for sure. This is a 10 out of 10. We need to call like the government. We should call Lance. I bet he'll know what to do. Can, do you have the number? Well, you don't have a phone, but I'm gonna call, I think the Kanto Pokemon League. Hey, is Lance there? There's an emergency. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's like such an emergency. It's not even funny. Okay, thanks. They put me on hold. Do you think that they'll actually let me talk to Lance? You think he's there? We'll see. <laughs> okay, let's think before. Yeah, let's think. Let's think it out. You guys, yeah, it's the mochi. Who's calling me? Oh my God, it's Lance. He's calling me. Arvin, okay, this works too. Amanda, how you two doing out there? Are you okay? No, it's a zombie apocalypse. How are you guys? You guys good? We're fine over here, though Penny got herself all spooked and it's been kind of a mess. We got a little worried because we hadn't heard from you in a while, so we decided to step outside and things are weird out here, little buddy. Yeah, it's zombies. We were attacked by all these folks shouting mochi mochi at us and we couldn't spot you anywhere. So I was beginning to fear the worst, now they're attacking. Yeah, yep, they're holding tight by that peachy's place for a moment, but yeah, there's something there. There's something there, Arvin. Oh my God, they are being fucking attacked. <gasps> okay, the villagers are starting to attack. Yeah, this really, Leon. Oh my God, I called this, remember? Oh Oh my god, because oh, this is all my fault. Oh my god, this is such a deep cut. But if you were there for the ogre car, then you remember the reason that I, I this is all my fault. I really, man, oh, I, I always do this. The reason that my ogre pawn's name is Ashley is because she was following me around and it reminded me of Ashley from Resident Evil 4 following Leon around. That is a zombie game. And in particular, the, the plot of that game is where a whole little town, a small town, gets infected and they all start attacking and shit. Yeah, yep. Yeah, bitch, I really called that, didn't I? Yeah, Leon needs to come here now. Leon, get your hunky ass over here now. The president's daughter has been kidnapped. You need to come over here right now and help us. Oh my God, uh, why is this happening? They're getting eaten. Oh my God, no. What's wrong? Are you two okay? No, they've they're in the furious phase now. Yeah. Oh crud. You're gonna say crud at a time like this? This does not look good. Oh my god, if we're a witness, they're dying. They're getting killed. <laughs> Clunk, clatter, pop, pop, pop. God, not pop, pop, pop to the top. Arvin, hey Arvin, look at me. I'm like, they're dead. They're both dead. What's wrong with Wolfie? I hear him barking. Is he okay? Wolfie's fine, honey. Wolfie's just fine. <laughs> Your foster parents are dead. <laughs> It's a Terminator 2 joke. I'm not coping well, as you can see. I'm just starting to quote movies that are barely relevant. <laughs> Something must have gotten them. Yeah, it was the zombies. Yeah. Grandma, Grandpa, I'll be back soon, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, um, they're gone, so I still want to find Nimona, but we got to get to Peachy's and check on Arvin and Penny. Come on. This sucks. I can't believe that my friends are dead. 
I am genuinely so fucking rattled by this girl. You're unaffected. You're unaffected by all this. You didn't see all this going on. Girlfriend, what? She's gonna be like, um, can you get the fuck out of my face? Like we're in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, thank God. I love it when they're all the NBCs are aware. That's good. Cause like you're telling me that the smartest, most brilliant, beautiful, observant girl I've ever known didn't notice that the entire town's infected. She noticed. No, she just still doesn't want me up in her face. I get that. Yeah. I, we love a consistent queen. Something weird seems to be going on here in the village. You might want to let your Pokemon rest up whenever you get the chance. Yeah, please do, girl, and don't eat the mochi. Oh my god, you guys are alive. I thought for sure you'd be like ripped to shreds. Honestly, I thought we were about to stumble into just an absolutely awful scene of, of pure carnage. Thank god. Thank you, God, for sparing their lives. What the hell happened, though? Y'all fought off the zombies? Is that it? What's up, Rick Grimes and Michonne? Where are the zombies? In a pile? Dead? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about hanging up on you like that. Probably gave you the wrong impression. Well, yeah, no, it sounded like you guys were getting attacked by zombies. It was all Penny's fault. She went... <sighs> Seriously? You guys sounded like you were getting attacked. I thought for sure I heard like moans and screams of zombies, of the zombies actually. I thought I heard clicker noises. She went into full panic mode and ran smack into me with her head. So I dropped my phone. That was it. During a zombie apocalypse, I'm sorry, but we don't get to have like other accidents during the zombie apocalypse. You're either dying from a fucking zombie or you're not. That's the thing. Every time there's a zombie apocalypse in like media, it's like, oh, who's the scarier one? The zombies or the human? Like, stop killing each other. There's zombies for that. Seriously, we're in a zombie apocalypse and you guys can't stop fucking squabbling. Uh, how about we team up and focus on the fucking zombies, you idiots? God, every single time the earth goes to shit. Isn't it so true? Isn't it so like humanity? Can you blame me? Look at the people in this town. Something seriously wrong with them. Never mind whatever that weird thing was. Oh, okay, so there was a thing. So that's all we needed to know. Weird thing, what are you talking about? Penny's about to go down. Penny, you will start coughing in about seven minutes and then uh, we're gonna have to hold her down and then there's gonna be something that comes out of her chest. It's gonna be absolutely awful. None of us are expecting it. It's going to have teeth. It's gonna shoot across the room. It's a xenomorph. We're fucked, okay? Once they get here and start laying eggs, we're fucked. It was like round and little and weird. Yep, yeah, that's the larval xenomorph for ya, yep. Too bad, so sad. And just where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure you weren't just seeing stuff? Oh, so only Penny saw it? Okay, yeah, might not be real. Either that or it went right into her mouth and is a chest burster. It's like currently finishing up its metamorphosis in your chest cavity, so rip. Sorry, Penny. It was real, I really saw it. Sure you did. I think I might've figured out why everyone is acting so strange. <sighs> Nobody ever listens to me. I've said it from the beginning. Is it the mochi, Kieran? Is it the mochi? Until we know for sure though, what? Whoa, there's the chest burster. Yup, that, I didn't even get to, whoa, heads up guys. Penny's got a, Never mind. Penny's just fine. There's something up there. Oh God, what could it be? What could it be? It's probably peachy. She's up there, isn't it? Is it peachy? Look up there. Oh, uh, what the hell? What in God's name? I mean, it's the thing that I saw earlier, but what even is this thing? Is it a drone? Is it a Pokemon? It's about to fly into somebody's mouth. Are you guys kidding me? No, there's no way. <laughs> there's no fucking way. Yeah, girl. Yeah, there's no way. What? What was that scene? Cool. So they're infected. You guys, she's still on her phone in the background. <laughs> there's like some real shit going down and she's on TikTok right now. You guys. I told you not to eat the fucking mochi. Are you serious? You couldn't dodge it? You just couldn't? Aw, oh, man, come on. No, come on. What is this little fuck? Are you kidding me? Really, Arvin? Well, I guess we know who my bestest friend is now. It's Kieran. Kieran managed to dodge it. Yep. I know, I know, Mochi. Yeah, Arvin, <laughs> of course. I'm glad they let me choose. Mo, Mochichi, stop, stop it now. Is Arvin embarrassed? Yeah, probably, I'm embarrassed. I'm certainly embarrassed. But more importantly, I'm so sorry if only I'd managed to warn them in time. Yeah, well, I've been trying to tell everybody it's the Mochi this whole time and nobody's listening to me, so it wouldn't have done anything. This weird Mochi came from that thing. Yeah, that thing. Sir, What are, what are you doing? Yeah, here we go. Go time, that's right. Hey, no fair, that jerk's using them as a shield. Oh no, that jerk is right. We gotta find some way to get the two of them to calm down. Yep, Penny, stop. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. You guys suck. 
by the way. And Vanessa, really? Can you put your phone down for two fucking seconds? She's wearing hot pink Crocs with like white straps and you don't have any gibbets and yet you have an anklet. That's just the energy that you're bringing to the zombie apocalypse, truly. You don't have any gibbets. Did you forget them at home? Did you lose them? I've lost a couple. You're not better than me. So you can humble yourself enough to have hot pink discount, like the white trim Crocs, sport mode, good. I'm glad that you're taking this seriously, but no gibbets. Like, come on, girl. Really? You're like too fucking cool for gibbets? If you're wearing Crocs, you're not too cool for gibbets. Okay, put some fucking gibbets on your Crocs. Seriously? What are you like so serious about Crocs? You're like going to a meeting or something. You're going to a fucking meeting at the White House. Come on, where are your gibbets, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like a croc person and I hate to see gibbetless crocs. <laughs> I just don't like it. You're like too fucking busy for the zombie apocalypse. Who are you texting? Seriously? Who are you texting at a time like this? Girl, it better be Rick Grimes or like Leon S. Kennedy or Jill Valentine. Like those are the three acceptable answers because you, we need help. Like you better be texting for help and not um, for leisure because like, are you bored? Because I'll find something for you to do. Actually, you know what? You are healing our Pokemon. I'm just laughing out at you because I'm scared and emotions are running high and I'm also jealous of you. I'll get you some gibbets, okay? I'll buy you some gibbets. I'll pick out some good ones for you. I'm so sorry. Just keep doing whatever you want. <laughs> I'm sorry. So fucking humbling, honestly. I think I challenged them actually. This little fuck in the background being like, yep, look at you. Like, are you happy? Are you quite pleased with yourself and what you've done here on this night? What's your end goal here, bucko, little guy, little dude? Penny, come on, really? You doing the hacker thing as a, as a zombie? Hacker zombie, wow, Momo, really? Oh my God. It's your only comment at this time. You little shit, we're just letting him walk away. He like walked away. I saw that, get back over here right now. Come on, we got some questions for ya. What are we doing? Don't we wanna like maybe go interview the culprit? Arvin, Penny, I'm real sorry guys. Yeah, this has, this trip's been a fucking disaster. Where do you think you're going? You're next. There we go, Kieran. Kieran's redemption arc, Pah. Like you're really, yeah, you thought you could get away with this. Are you serious right now? You, you thought you were gonna get away with this? You little shit, yeah. Shake him down, Kieran. Shake him down, Kieran. She's on her phone, scrolling TikTok. She has such a serious screen addiction. In the zombie apocalypse, she's scrolling her fucking timeline right now. Where are we at? Where are we at, folks? Don't have time for this. Let's go, people. Where are we at? Oh yeah, it's like always on the map, Amanda. Why don't you check things ever? Oh, Loyalty Plaza. Oh my gosh, with the gorgeous, beautiful monuments erected for the three heroes of the Kitakame region. I just want to go pay my respects to the Loyal Three, really the inventors of loyalty. I'm like such a stan of you guys. I love your work. 10 out of 10 would feed. Just kidding. When are we we tearing every single mention of them down off the walls. Why are we still doing the whole loyal three thing when we know the truth? They're murderers, all three of them. They are fucking stone cold, red handed killers. And we're like, oh my God, loyalty plaza. What loyalty? What loyalty? Seriously, like loyalty to, to who? Satan? Loyalty to the devil, loyalty to Volo probably, who probably had some something to do with it, you know? Cause I feel like it, that all that happened around that same time. Yeah, he probably was the one who pulled the trigger, honestly. That could be possible. Have you guys looked into Volo at all? He can't get away with this. He can't keep getting away with this. You know, I will say I'm enjoying my break from Carmine a little bit. <laughs> Wait, is that? Don't tell me it's the loyal three. Oh, it's Nimona. Nimona, don't do that. Oh, okay, good. You guys didn't rebuild. Perfect. It's still, yeah, that looks about right. Just a heap of fucking trash. Cool, good. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, that looks just like you guys. That looks just like the loyal three. I'm so glad they didn't rebuild it. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be all rebuilt and shit. No, no, 
no, no, no. Thank God. Thank fucking God. And if you guys do rebuild, it needs to be a huge, huge, huge statue of me and Ashley holding hands together. Like Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney. Like how it's like that, only way bigger, way cuter. We're both like wearing pretty dresses. Yeah. I'm like looking back at her and leading her through the town. Yeah. And also, can you like the, the guy that died that lost his life? He can be in the statue, too. He's holding Ashley's other hand. We're swinging her, actually. Yeah, it's me, the guy with the ponytail. And then in the middle is Ashley. And we're like swinging her and her feet are up and she's laughing. We're all laughing. That's the statue. I should have figured. Yeah. Namona, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing? Like paying your respects to the loyal three? Did she just say match? I guess even the mochi couldn't override her battle. But yeah, she's like obsessed. Buddy, pal. Like, what exactly is your go end goal here? What exactly is your aim? Runt, run. You can say that again. Yeah, runt, run. Like, for real, you should run because I'm about to throw hands. And by the way, why the hell did you show up wearing a lousy three purple? You kind of look like the three bitches. Like, you look like you're one of them. You look like you're like a, f a fourth bitch. Is that accurate? You look like you roll with them. Are you trying to pull up for your friends right now? Really? No way. No fucking way. Yeah, it's over for us. It's over for all of us, you guys. How did I not? get this spoiled. I just feel like like nobody's talking about this. Holy shit. Like this is like the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. This is so fucking weird. Is this really happening? Watch my back for me. Okay. R right. Good luck. I'll focus on keeping the villagers from getting any closer. Yeah. Just like so distract them. Amanda, do your best for the Nimona and whatever that thing is. You got it. You know me. This little runt, dude. Little runt. Too scared to fight his own battles. Insane that this is happening insane. Nimona, get a grip. Seriously, I'm calling your parents. They'll send a doctor out. Penny's dad will send a doctor on the double, like right away. Oh my God, Mochi skills, Mochi, it's always Ashley. And I wanted Ashley to really take it home here at the site of her ultimate betrayal for years a loyalty plaza you know like where our statue is gonna go basically i just wanted her to have this moment before the statue goes up hey are you done are you quite done your little plan it's not working okay get over here you little asshole just who exactly do you think you are Pip, pip. yeah not working out for you the way you planned is it do you want to challenge the strange pokemon you bet your ass i do oh you bet yeah, yeah, whoever this is, whoever this little strange Pokemon is. Peachy, uh, what say you? Is this your son? Can you come get him, like, now? You just call me a peasant, you little shit. Sparky, when in doubt. It, you damaged it. That means you can beat it. Keep it up. You got this. Kieran, and I point to him, you're my best friend in the world. Hopefully that wakes Arvin up. I'm proud of Kieran, I really am. You know, I, I came into this not trusting him, like straight up, I just didn't really trust him. I won't lie, still, like I thought it was a trap. Part of me thought it was a trap. And then even when I started seeing that it was like an apocalyptic situation, I was like, yeah, this is a trap for sure. But it's not. Like Kieran is really has turned over a new leaf and he really learned his lesson, which is really cool. You know, usually like our shitty, t terrible person era lasts a little bit longer than Kieran's did. So you got to give him props. I mean, he got a lot done in the, in the few months that he was the biggest piece of shit possible. I will say he really accomplished a lot in his short time as an insufferable, incel oh god what <laughs> sorry that's just never happened to my poor sweet ashley before what what the hell you what do you mean you can't hold out much longer you're not doing anything have you tried singing what songs do you know can you just sing like bohemian rhapsody or something i'm sure they'll love it can you just please like do something like fucking do something karen god i was just talking your ass up Ra, why don't you go in and see what you can do baby boy is this gonna be a trend yeah intimidate him the little shit 
Peachy, get down here now and collect your child, please. He's being a menace to society, to all of society. Okay, thank God. I just don't really know what type this thing is. I think it's, it, maybe it's poison. That seems to be, oh, poison puppeteer, huh? That's pretty fucked up. What on earth? I guess that makes sense. Oh my God. What do you mean poison puppeteer? That's scary. What? Okay, well, Ra, just do what you can while you can, I guess, buddy. He's like confused and poisoned. Oh my God. He really, like, this thing's like fucking neurotoxic. That's scary. That's really serious. Oh, you can't move because you're paralyzed too? Yeah, two can play at that game, you little shit. Sit in this. Feel it all the way through. You failed. You came here trying to start an apocalypse of some kind. A chicken apocalypse. Chicken dance apocalypse, if you will. A mochi apocalypse. And you failed. You did not succeed. No, you failed. So sashay away, little guy, and terrorize this small village no more. Okay? These people have been through enough. Actually, you know what? They needed this. They needed a little bit of a punishment. I feel like they got off kind of easy for everything they did to Ashley. So I think that this was just enough. I think you're done now. I think this can stop. You little shit throws her ponytail back. Look, it's slowing down. Now's your chance. Catch it with a Pokeball. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how to do that. I mean, I have three Master Balls. Maybe I should use one of these. I just do not want to fucking deal with this thing anymore. Maybe I'll just use a Master Ball. Like, what else am I going to use it on? I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Get in the fucking ball. It'll probably, honestly, you know what's so stupid? I didn't just do that. It probably would have caught with anything, wouldn't it? It's not like it wasn't going to catch right? I'm a fucking idiot, right? Huh? How about it? Am I an idiot or what? How about a round of applause for the biggest idiot you know? Is that right? Like I could have thrown a premiere ball at this thing and it would have caught probably, right? Is that right? Don't tell me. Please don't fucking tell me. Could you guys just tell me that like, oh, good idea to use a master ball. I like used a master. I had three though. Like what am I honestly going to use them for? It's not like you have like one Mewtwo like you used to, you know, it's like I caught tons of the legendaries with no master ball. I'm like always saving them. And then you know what? I I never end up using the master ball. That's the thing. I don't think I ever used the master ball in sword. Did I ever even get a master ball in, is there a master, there wasn't a master ball in uh, Arceus, was there? I don't know. Like I just uh, didn't, I don't ever use the master ball because there's no like one Pokemon that you should use, to, use it on, you know? I had three master balls. So whatever, I wasted one. So what? Cry about it, cope. I'm not concerned. I'm just worried about people being like, um, did you know that you could have used any ball in that moment and you fucking use the master ball? Like, yeah, I'm an idiot. I, if you don't know, now you do. I don't think. I never think. I don't think about anything. And yet here I am winning. This is like, could you imagine what I could accomplish if I actually used my fucking brain? How about that? Stew on that for a little bit. You guys better hope I don't figure out how to think because then I'm, it's over for all of you. Okay. <laughs> This is me working at like 5% brain power at all times. If I figure out how to use my fucking brain, how to think, it's over, okay? You guys better hope that I never figure it out. Petcherunt. Is that right? Petcherunt, you little shit. What should I name him? All right, I think that I'm gonna name you Erky because it kind of like looks like a little name for your ass, but also you just like fucking irk me because I just feel like that's a cute little name for you. Yeah, you're going into the boxes. You will control us no longer. Yeah, dead last. Dead last on the Pokedex, that's right. Anyway, are we done here? Are you guys gonna wake the fuck up now? D did you get it? Yeah, Kieran, I wasted my Master Ball, just like you, besties, twinsies. Now we can relate, we can talk about that. We can like confide in each other about how we both are Master Ball wasters. Then everyone else should be. No, I don't think so. Peachy, come out here, come out now. Oh, never mind. Okay, it is. It's not Peachy's. Peachy's probably dead. Peachy's probably tied up in the basement. I'm like blaming all of this on Peachy. No, she's probably either dead or tied up in the basement. Hmm, what are we all doing out here? Oh boy, do we have a funny story for you. I think Vanessa down at the Pokemon Center, she's got videos. She put it on TikTok, actually. It's like so unethical of her. She really recorded y'all in like really vulnerable moments and exploited what you're going through for likes. She did. So if you want to know, it's yeah, just like look up Vanessa on TikTok and you can see it for yourselves. <laughs> 
but yeah, it's quite a story. Let's just say that. Look at me and my best friend. Everyone's back to normal. And I poke him. I poke him in his chest. I said, yeah, including you, you little stinker. Look at me and my bestie. Aw, a little moment. So sweet. I love you, Kieran. I do. Amanda, Kieran, I love how Carmen doesn't even realize that like we came out for a trip. She doesn't even realize that we're here. She's like, wait, what the hell is Amanda doing here? Uh, and who the fuck are these people? The last thing I remember is getting to the shop. What happened? Well, what happened was, yeah, all that. Just check out Vanessa's TikTok. She exploited you guys. You should be very angry. I love her, but she needs to be held accountable. This was a miss, girl. This was a little bit of an L. You shouldn't have done this. That was wrong of you, Vanessa. Maybe this is your rock bottom and you'll assess your phone addiction and you'll be better. You know, I hope that you're listening and learning and growing. I really do, seriously. So all that mochi mochi stuff was because of some Pokemon? Yeah. Erky. He's a real little shit. See, see, I told you it was real. Okay, so you did see something. Wow, we all really thought that you were making it up for attention, Penny. Anyway, Amanda went and caught the thing, as she does. <laughs> Look at Kieran. Oh my gosh, Kieran. I want nothing but good things for you, buddy. Let your hair down. I like just need to, I reach up, I take it out. I say, let it down. What are you doing with the onion hair? Come on, you can't possibly like it like that. Karen, <laughs> you're better now. You got redeemed. <laughs> she sure did. Aw, Karen. I'm happy to see you smile. Wait, what about Nimona? Nimona, you better get your ass over here, you little pest. You okay? Bestie. Nimona, you feeling all right? She's like, who's up for a battle? <laughs> Nimona, don't do this. You're like, s serious? She's playing a trick. She's tricking us. She's being so super silly right now. Huh? What's going on? Oh, she just had like one last little... Oh, Nimona. Yeah, we found the remote, sweetheart. Kiki and Amanda? That's right. Sis, Gramps, Grandma. What the heck is going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining. Yeah, so this is Carmine. She's not usually like she was when you met her down in town earlier. She's worse. So now you get to experience the full Carmine effects. Enjoy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We love her, though. She will get you. She'll, get, she'll weasel her way in your heart. Forcibly. She will. Actually... Huh, what a weird feeling. Somehow it feels like I'm seeing you for the first time in ages. Shut up, don't do this. Oh my god, it's so sweet. It's because you are. Kieran's back. He's our little guy again. Oh, oh, I loved it. Is that it? Is it over? Is there an epilogue to this? Okay, thank God. Several days later. Several days, huh? Head home to Paldia, huh? What did we do? Do we have fun, you guys? Did we have a blast? I had no idea Ogre Pond's face was so adorable. I should talk to the caretaker about whipping up some Ogre Pond souvenirs. You are so right. I like give him a high five and I like pound it and I like hold his hand. I'm like, you are so right, good sir. I will fund you all the way. Let's set up a Kickstarter right now. Ogre Pond is adorable. You are so right, buddy. Thank you so much for coming to your senses. So buddies, friends, pals, what are we doing? What's the move? So we're heading back to Paldia already, huh? We got caught up in a pretty hairy situation, but this trip was still a blast. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of cursed, honestly. Like I can never just have a normal time, can I? My arms and legs are still killing me from all that dancing. Yeah, you really busted a move, Penny. My God, you were so in that. Hey guys. Mm, it's fine, he likes it that way. It's fine, I just have to respect it. Are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. I'll come back again. You guys know I'm always like th passing through. Yeah, you better. And I'm like still over at Blueberry, by the way. So you guys coming back soon? Hey, uh, Amanda, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. Yeah, we had so much fun with you, Kieran. You really are one of the gang. We love you, buddy. You are so loved. Fucking Vanessa over there relishing and all the attention she got for posting people's most vulnerable moments. Peachy, don't think I forgot about you, girl. You have some explaining to do. Let's just say that. Nah, we should be the ones thanking you for sure showing us such a good time and the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good. He <laughs> ate well good. I'm glad he liked it here. Wish we could fit more battles in against both of you though. Carmine, did you get to battle Nimona? 
Are you kidding me? You battled. Oh, cool. Yeah, good. Oh, I'm so glad we had so much fun and battled so much. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more. Welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. <laughs> Nimona, you so silly. I really am happy I got to meet you all. Karen, we're so happy to have you. You really are such an important part of our friend group. We all love you so much, and I am very proud of you. You've made a lot of progress just waiting on one thing, and then we'll be totally good. I've been thinking about it a lot and I think I'm gonna give Blueberry Academy another shot. Oh, you dropped out because of that? I thought it was because of Carmine. You fucking straight up dropped out because I beat your ass so bad. That makes sense, actually. I really, I did embarrass you, didn't I? You were really, I mean, well, you, you embarrassed yourself first. All I did was humble you. You needed that, you know, but you dropped out over it? Really? Okay. I mean, yeah, go back. I think you should definitely go back. I'm really going to go for it this time. Good, Karen. I'm so glad to hear that. And you know what? The first person on your list to take out, to take down, should be Lacey. But then second is it should be Drayton because he used me. Did you hear? Yeah, thanks, Amanda. Remember he was writing on his walls, carving into his walls with like a knife. He was like carving Amanda will die last time I was here. Remember that? He's like, Amanda, wait till I see you. And he was like carving shit in his walls, I think maybe. I think it, that happened. That happened, right? Remember that? He was like in the corner rocking back and forth, carving shit in the walls. He was like planning my death. How far you've come, Kieran? It's time for me to head back to school too then. Yeah, I'll see you guys there because I'm going there next, actually. This has been great, seriously. I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all and f see, see Kieran's onion hair and realize that he's not a threat at all. And Kieran, I really am sorry for trying to flex on you the way I did when I first got here. Huh? Were you? I didn't even notice. Don't worry about Arvin. Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. She's like such a good big sister. <laughs> wow, looks like Carmine's another one with a big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. Carmine, cool it. You can take a breath. Count to 10. <laughs> Excuse me, who do you think you're apologizing for? Yeah, everybody, meet Carmine. <laughs> yep, everybody laugh at Carmine. <laughs> That's exactly what she needs in this moment. Mochi mayhem, the end. So sweet. Yay, I love it. I don't want it to end. Uh, what an amazing DLC that was. I uh, am going to end it here with just some final thoughts because I have to make going to Blueberry Academy and starting so much shit in the club room into its own video you guys that's like how much i got into over there it's gonna come just a few days after this one so we'll get to see that we're not done yet how the hell was that just a dlc nintendo really put their whole ass into that huh that felt like a game like a whole nother game that was so good three huge parts and just full of like awesome story like awesome really really unique just pure pokemon madness to the highest degree possible in every one. The whole story with the ogre and the three bitches and like the Blueberry Academy thing is so awesome. Going back to Unova and then having like Kitakame like have a lot to do with Hisawai and stuff and all of the characters. I honestly, okay, so like full disclosure, I know I'm a hater. I'm a hater because when I'm in this shit, I am like truly living it as if I'm, I am inside this and I'm a hater. I'm like a dramatic Libra hater bitch who just like in the moment, I will just be like, we are sworn enemies. But like fully, I think that Kieran and Carmine are two awesome awesome characters with the whole friend group like yeah penny i give penny a lot of shit and i don't really like penny <laughs> but i love her as a character because she's just so like real she's just like one of those real like rude ipad kid bitches and then like arvin obviously i love namona everybody's got like their own distinct personality we have like this tight friend group and then like kieran and carmine come through and they each have like really complex dynamic personalities too. And it's really understandable what Kieran's going through and like the fucking roller coaster of your friendship. Like, remember how much of a little shit he was back at Blueberry? But then I like, I recently watched the first part of it and Kieran was such a sweetheart in the first part. And like, we really pushed him to that. I just loved it so much. I love this whole game. I really don't know why people give this game so much shit because it's just, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than, I mean, it's like the best we've, I don't know. I think it's really great in terms of character and story. Like, do y'all remember the DLCs for sword and shield and how boring they were like I'm they were so damn boring I did not give a fuck about 
any of the DLC story. Like, oh my God, it was so annoying having to like chase that dad and daughter around. I just wanted to go catch new Pokemon. That's all I wanted to do. But in this one, I was like, I had to like force myself to go catch the Pokemon because the story is so compelling. You just want to keep playing it. I don't know. I could keep going and going. We have a little bit more to do over at Blueberry Academy. So don't worry, that video will be coming soon. But yeah, I love this game. And I think it's just like so exciting to think about where Pokemon games are going and how they're improving. And like, hopefully they take all of the things that went wrong with this one and put it into the next one because I just had so much fun with this game. I never wanted to end. I'm so sad that it's like coming to an end for me, but you know, I just, it makes me look forward to the next one so much more. So thank you guys for going on this journey with me. I'm so glad I get to play Pokemon games on my channel. It really is like a dream come true. Pokemon means the world to me. And so does Surfshark VPN. <laughs> thank you so much for sponsoring this video again, Surfshark. Make sure you go to the link in my description or the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon in another Pokemon video. Got lots of other videos coming soon. And yeah, thank you for surviving the the mochi apocalypse with me.